if you look at the current existing joint ventures, the equity participation of uh, Thales is around 26%. Now, uh, given the fact that the current FDI policy, you know, lets one actually scale it up to 100% theoretically, mm -hmm. up to 49% you can go and do it in through, through the automatic route. So, do we see uh, equity participation in joint ventures with BEL or Samtel or, or LNT technologies being scaled up by Thales? Uh, and how will the st structure of the new joint ventures that you are proposing Will, will it see higher uh, no equity participation? Yeah, you can expect us to be really willing to substantially invest in India. Mm -hmm. So we will use uh, all the opportunities uh, that the Indian uh, policy is offering uh, mm -hmm. to increase our participation. Mm -hmm. Uh, of course, this requires to be uh, in agreement with our partners. So uh, we have existing joint ventures. As you rightly said, uh, our current participation in uh, these joint ventures is 26%. Mm -hmm. uh, if our partners uh, actually welcome the fact that Thales uh, would increase uh, mm -hmm. their participation, we're willing to consider that. Mm -hmm. For new joint ventures, we might directly consider a higher participation than 26%. Mm -hmm. Of course, 26 is linked to the previous uh, regulation. Yes, huh? yes. So now we have uh, more opportunities to invest at a higher level. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, we are also prepared to have uh, entities and investments in India in which uh, we would have a controlling stake. Right. Uh, so this is, uh, uh, we are very flexible in the way we will uh, organize our investments in India. Mm -hmm. uh, the message is that we are prepared to significantly invest uh, in this country. Right. We need to act according to the rules and obviously uh, we will make sure that uh, we fulfill uh, our offset obligations uh, through all these investments. Right. You know, how much investment then we, could we see as from the point of view of Thales uh, uh, in, 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 the, in, in the Indian market? Uh, can you give us a sense of that as well? Because as you say, well, we, we've not communicated uh, any number, but you can expect that to be a large size investment. Uh, we see India as a, a very important country uh, to us. Uh, India is a very fast uh, growing country, very large uh, country, mm -hmm. uh, and India has lots of needs uh, in all the areas of activities of Thales, defense, security, aeronautics, uh, uh, space, uh, air traffic control, transportation. So it's very natural for Thales to be uh, prepared to invest uh, substantially uh, in the country. Yeah. Well, one last question on the Rafale uh, deal, you know, uh, and this question is not related to Rafale deal directly. India now says that it perhaps would need 200 more aircrafts. Uh, and and uh, we have Lockheed Martin saying that please, you know, we are willing to offer you the F-16 uh, assembly line. The the, the 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 Swedes are offering the Gripen assembly line to India. Do you think that uh, the Rafale consortium uh, should also pitch this aircraft uh, for this new uh, contract that would be coming up in the future? Well, of course. Uh, since uh, India will have uh, these uh, 36 uh, Rafale, it makes uh, quite a lot of sense uh, mm -hmm. for India to continue to use uh, uh, this type of solution, this type of aircraft uh, mm -hmm. for their uh, new project. So uh, yes, we expect uh, uh, the Rafale to be uh, considered uh, for the new purchases of right. uh, the Indian government. Right. Absolutely. Okay. Now let's let's talk about Thales's participation in India. I mean, you were talking about how you see India as a very important market, and hence I would like to dwell more on that. You have what is known as a go to India approach uh, as far as India is concerned. What does it mean? And uh, currently, from what I understand, around uh, in India contributes about 2.5% of, of, mm. of the Thales global turnover. Mm -hmm. uh, where do you see that uh, going up? How much do you see that going up by? If you can give us a sense of that. Yes, um, well, we have uh, in fact uh, a policy uh, that is uh, focusing on India. Um, this has uh, several, there are several aspects to it. Uh, we certainly see India as a large market, mm -hmm. so we plan to grow our presence uh, in the country to address uh, the Indian market. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, what we believe, uh, for example, and uh, I've mentioned it already, uh, India has uh, obviously huge needs in the field of uh, ground transportation, uh, huge needs in the field of uh, air traffic control. Thales is uh, the largest uh, supplier of air traffic control solutions in the world. Uh, so uh, we certainly uh, believe it makes sense uh, for us uh, 
uh, to uh, really support uh, the, the policy of the Indian government uh, in that field. We were very happy to see uh, that uh, the Indian government has issued a new uh, national civil aviation uh, policy uh -huh. Uh -huh. and we plan to support that quite substantially. So first of all, India is certainly a very large market for us. But also, I India, in addition, is uh, going to be a stronger and stronger contributor to our supply chain. Yes. We will uh, carry out more work internally uh, mm -hmm. through uh, Thales subsidiaries in India, but mm -hmm. we also plan uh, to purchase much more through uh, joint ventures or through uh, relationship with uh, a number of uh, Indian companies. Which means uh, the exports uh, from all these subsidiaries yes, that will go up in the future. Yes, absolutely. We will purchase more from mm -hmm. Indian companies and uh, we expect also to uh, uh, be able to position uh, these Indian companies uh, on Thales uh, projects uh, for market uh, outside of India and we also expect uh, our joint ventures to be able to address markets uh, outside of India. Right. So. Uh, we are very impressed actually with uh, the pace of development uh, of uh, Indian companies. Uh, uh, we know a, a wide range of companies, some of them are very large size companies, uh, public sector or private sector, uh, other companies are SMEs and I must say we are very impressed with uh, the dynamism, uh, uh, innovation capabilities of a number of uh, Indian SMEs and we believe it really makes sense for Thales to develop a stronger relationship with all the, these companies. Right. So the, basically the go to India uh, uh, approach for Thales means that uh, you will see Thales even more in the future in the Indian market but you will also see Indian companies uh, having much stronger links uh, with Thales for projects that are of course uh, concerning the Indian market but not only the Indian market also uh, basically uh, addressing the global market. Okay now let me talk to you about uh, I mean as, as you were talking about Thales is not just about defense related projects in India you have huge stakes in infrastructure projects specifically in railways and in aviation let me start with railways uh, Indian government has been pushing uh, railway infra development uh, very strongly what where does uh, Thales uh, stand in that what kind of opportunities do you see in that well, Thales uh, supplies uh, control systems for trains as well as uh, telecommunications and monitoring uh, systems plus a number of uh, equipment. Uh, so we are already involved in India for uh, metro, metro projects, projects in uh, several cities as right. well as uh, mainline projects. Obviously, uh, we plan to continue to support uh, the uh, Indian investments uh, in these fields for both metros and uh, mainline uh, investments. Uh, so uh, this is, uh, and we will, depending on uh, programs and uh, projects, in fact, you will see us uh, either as a system supplier for a train control system, or you will see us as an equipment supplier, it depends and uh, we have uh, various ways of uh, contributing to uh, all these projects. So, you know, right from defense to railways, uh, uh, ATC related equipment, uh, uh, you know, uh, clearly Thales uh, has, uh, has uh, is, uh, set its uh, site, uh, you know, on the Indian market and has a clear strategy. Uh, clearly, you know, you'll be expanding in the Indian market. Uh, sure. uh, 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 you know, we'll have to wait and see what kind of uh, joint ventures and engagements uh, would be announced uh, from the Thales point of view in the in the in the coming months. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, ma'am. Uh, thank you. Uh, and 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 wish you all the best. Thank you. So thank much. you very much. Thank you.